Hey, what's going on everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, the video that I have for you guys today is also coincidentally probably going to be one of my shortest videos to date. Uh, the video that I have is, uh, it goes back to one of my previous videos, all right? And in that video, it had something to do with, uh, oh, what were we doing? We were introducing new textures into our map. All right, so we were bringing in some new textures. As we were going through that, um, let's get over there first of all. Let's go to terrain. All right, go over to your uh, attributes layer manager. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on here. Okay, so when we started adding these in, everything, everything here I'm familiar with, okay? Um, even like the unit size, unit offset, blend contrast, right? No problem. The color is is kind of where I had some questions, all right? And, and the questions weren't, what exactly is color? I mean, that goes without saying, you know, quick Google can get you all the answers you need there. Uh, but the problem is, is how were they using this color? Now, I, I've made my fair share of textures in the past, and this color has nothing to do with that process, all right, so I've, I've gone through and I've changed these colors to super bright colors. And the end result was they it has no direct impact on that texture at all. So what in the world are they using that color for? You know, I, I tried a few different things and nothing seemed to be making too much sense. Um, I had a, a few ideas of what they could be using it for, but, you know, they're just guesses, basically ideas. I even thought maybe they were using it sort of like they use a mip map if you kind of know how they how that works that you know maybe it's just kind of a default like backup color that didn't really seem to be the case either uh, so I was doing a little bit of testing uh, over the past couple of days I get Rocky Mountain Reserve is is on its way out so I'm still doing some testing on that now uh, now mind you when I get to the color on here in other maps I did leave these black um, mostly because, well, I just did, <laughs> but, uh, with Rocky mountain reserve, I, I didn't want to. All right. So I knew that the color, like if you look at the, all the rest of these entries, they all have a value. All right. So the color is being used for something. It's obvious. It is. It's just what that, that was it. So I knew eventually that I would come, I would come back to this and I'd have to figure it out. So back to what I was saying, I was, I was testing, uh, doing some testing in Rocky Mountain Reserve and I was driving a tractor and I turned on to a cobblestone road and I happened to notice that one that my tire tracks were were completely black which that in itself you know isn't too unusual uh, but I also noticed that the dust coming up off the tires off the street was also like black jet black all right so that that was unusual okay because I don't recall really seeing like like jet black dust anywhere in the game all right and the and the dust is something that's pretty new to fs22 all right and the ai drive uh, the ai drive cost is also something new so when you look at these these uh, uh these settings here the color the softness um i'm not sure about the material id but the ai drive cost those are all new to this version of of fs22 all right, so AI drive cost we had figured out. Material ID is pretty self-explanatory. Um, softness and color, kind of up in the air. Softness, I sort of get, but color, like I said, was kind of throwing me for a loop. Um, now, when I seen this this jet black dust coming up, it, it dawned on me that in my colors, when I, because now in my colors, I'm not sure I want to say this, in my cobblestone, that cobblestone was a texture that I introduced to the map, and I knew that. OK, and I also knew that if I introduced it to the map, that up to this point, I more than likely had that color setting at completely black. All right. So things are starting to make a little more sense now. So I come back into the layer manager and I made some changes in here and I, you know, I gave it a, a good value. Um, not sure if I copied that value from the proper value, like from the Alpine map, um, but I did give it a value. And I went back into game and I tested it again. And sure enough, you know, my tire tracks were a completely different color and the dust coming off the tires looked normal. All right. So right now, as far as me experimenting and, and testing things out, 
um, about 98% certain or 99 that the color setting that you see here, at least in part, has something to do with the dust. All right, with the, the dust and the tire tracks. Um, I'm, that's how it ties into that texture. All right, so I knew that it probably had something to do with it. Maybe not directly, you know, maybe indirectly, kind of like the AI drive cost, but I knew it had something to do with it. And it turns out that's what it is. So what I think is happening here, um, with it's a combination of the material ID, so it knows if it's like an asphalt, a dirt, grass, you get, you get the idea. Um, and then the softness. So like if you had a material ID of mud, and a softness of one, which by the way, zero is, is as hard as you can get. And one is as soft as you can get. And then those numbers kind of are on a sliding scale and can land anywhere in between those two numbers, right? Depending on how hard it is or soft. All right. So I kind of think that with the material ID of mud and a softness of one really wouldn't matter. You're probably not sure because I haven't tested this, but I, I wouldn't think mud would kick up much dust because it's it's wet it's mud right so i think the combination of these two tells it not to kick up dust um, but in any event material id aside uh, with the softness i kind of think the softer the material the closer you get to the number one the more likely it is to not only kick you know kick up dust but to kick up more or less dust depending on this value here, this softness value. Okay. So the color determines, you know, basically the shade of dust and the softness is, you know, the, uh, the hardness or the softness of, the, of that particular texture, whether it's, it's hard like concrete, you know, and gives off much less dust or none at all, or if it's softer like dirt or something along those lines, you know, and, and it would give off more dust. Okay. So that's kind of what's going on there. Now, with the color itself, now don't be overly worried if you see a, uh, if you have a color that looks, say it looks a little more orangish or it's a little bit on the brighter side. I was worried about a couple of my textures and it turned out, you know, I'm like, wow, that's not going to, that's going to look really weird for dust. But when I tested it in game, it turned out that it looked just fine. Um, so I wouldn't be too, too worried about some of your colors. That's why you'll see a lot of these colors, you know, some of them are on the darker side or they had a, yeah, they're in the ballpark of what that actual texture is. But in any event, that's what I wanted to throw out there that that's what I had come up with. Now, it's not to say that they might be using this color for something else as well. They very well could be. I, I at this point just don't know what that is. Um, or it could be that that color is being used solely strictly for the dust and the tire prints. And, and that's that. Um, hard to say, but at least at this point, we, we now have a better idea of what that does. So if any of these guys were questioning that and, and didn't quite know, now we know. And that's what this is all about, right? Just tutorial series. We're all learning together. And there are definitely things that I don't know. I, there's no doubt about it. And I'll be the first to tell you, you know, you know, there's guys out there that are awesome, awesome map makers, much better than me. And I'm sure maybe they have the answers, but unfortunately, none of those guys are doing videos right now. So <laughs> it kind of stuck with me. So until I come up with the answer, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what we got. And I'll be sure to share it with you one, once I know. Once I know, we'll all know. Alrighty, so keep that in the back of your mind when you're working on your maps and stuff and, and you're laying down textures and stuff that that's what that color does. Like I said, it could be a color that you make up yourself or you can use the actual color that they're using in the base game. Um, doesn't really matter. It doesn't. And so that's what it's for. So like I said, keep that in the back of your mind when you're working on your map. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.